So here we are in downtown Peoria, Illinois, a couple hours south of Chicago, and we're witnessing the flood of record. I've worked on the Illinois River here for more than 20 years and uh, have never seen anything like this. Uh, it's taken a heavy toll on the Peoria area community and towns and cities up and down river. So we're here at the Emaquan Preserve and we're seeing our levee over top with peak flood event on the Illinois River, the first time since 1943 and the largest flood in history. What's happening is it's allowing this backwater area to fill with, uh, with these flood waters and, and potentially having an impact on neighboring areas along the Illinois River. We're seeing flood events like this more often these days. Uh, on 2011 on the Missouri and then on the Mississippi River system and today on the Illinois River, Largest events of record. Scientists look at climate models and predict that they'll continue to happen, increasing in severity and frequency. It's time that we take a different approach to managing these floods. We need dams and levees. We need to protect our cities and urban areas, but we also need room for the river. We need to create places like this where we can take flood waters and, and have it a positive impact in terms of lowering flood crests for nearby cities and towns. We need to work with nature and not against it in areas like this at Emaquan, a nature reserve, or agricultural areas along the river provide that opportunity. But we need policies that create incentives for local landowners to undertake that kind of a management approach to take water on and potentially reduce flood heights for nearby cities and towns. Studies have shown that a dollar spent on mitigation today can save $4 for taxpayers in the future.